Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 5, which is the final episode of the Bijou assembly series. I just want to note really quick, I have actually launched a website. This is going to be a website where I kind of just dump, you know, clipper guides, uh, anything I find interesting, that type of thing. And this is also your best place to find out the status of all my printers, what printers I have, what they do, little descriptions about them, and also their GitHub links. So we can see here on my website, I can click on the printer section and we can see here is Bijou. Gives you a little bit of information about Bijou and its status. This is now an official MK1 release of Bijou and you can click here to get to the GitHub. You'll also find Simple Core, and you'll find my cross gantry printer defiant. So this is a really handy place um, just to find out what the status of my printers are, you know, what the GitHub links for all three of them are and any printers I add in the future and that type of thing. I also have a little bit of a repository here for Clipper, just kind of what is Clipper installing Linux, using a Clipper installation update helper. I have a really awesome rotation distance calculator here. I'm so happy about this. Um, I hate trying to like write down all of my, you know, values when I do my calibrations on uh, extruders. And this is super, super easy to use and very, very nice if you're just trying to quickly figure out your rotation distance. I also have a brand new addition here that I just added last night kind of really quickly. Um, this is pretty useful uh, little addition to Clipper is you can have your IP address and your host name show up on your screen. If you have a Clipper screen, um, I'm talking about the uh, TFT, like the small mini screens. This will actually put in your IP address and URL at the bottom of your screen, which is really nice if you have DHCP. If you haven't set up a static IP address for your printer, this will give you your IP address as soon as you connect to your Wi-Fi. So you don't have to go to your router or anything like that and figure out what IP was assigned to your printer. It will actually automatically show up in the little TFT at the very bottom, which is really, really neat. So you can also donate here if you want to. Again, it's not required, but this just donates right to my PayPal. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to finally announce that I have a website. So let's get back to Bijou here. Let's talk about... Uh, a really quick run through here of the Bijou config. This should be a relatively short video. I'm just gonna go a couple, go through a couple things like um, sensorless homing and also talk about Clicky Probe because Clicky Probe is standard on this printer. So first let's talk about the main config file here. So I'm gonna go into my printer.cfg and not a whole lot kind of in here. Um, I do have my clicky probe um, call here. So it is referencing my clicky probe configs. And these are just the configs that I grabbed right from the clicky probe GitHub. You can actually just grab all of these config files from the GitHub for this printer. I will have a folder with the SKR3, uh, SKR mini uh, E3 version three. Uh, folder with everything in here if you want to use that. So pretty straightforward here. Bijou now is officially a 140 by 140 printable uh, build area printer. So I have my 140 set here as my X and I have 140 set as my Y area. I am using sensorless homing so I have to find a virtual end stop for my X because we are using sensorless homing. And you can see down here, I actually have my uh, sensorless homing um, settings. So I have defined my diag pin. Now this is very important for a lot of main boards. Generally your diag pin is your end stop pin. It's not very clear on Clipper or a lot of the main boards actually don't even list their diag pins. And it, it takes a little bit of digging, but almost all main boards, your diag pin is your end stop pin. So what we're doing is we're taking the end stop pin that would have normally been here and we're moving it down here as a diag pin. And we're making the end stop then virtual. So all this is doing now is it's saying, hey, my end stop is now my stepper driver. That's all it's doing. 
So we've set our diag pin here. I'm also setting my driver sensitivity. So this tells Clipper basically when I've reached my, my end of my build area, how sensitive do I want this to trigger? And you have to tune this for each individual printer and you have to tune this for each individual kind of stepper setting. So depending on the amperage you're using, your belt routing, that type of thing, this number is going to be different. And it's basically trial and error. I, I just trialed and errored this number. Um, I had it set to 16, I kept going up and up and up. Basically you want, want this value as sensitive as you can go reliably which means you want to set this number so that you're not crashing into your actual X end position and you also don't want to trigger it too soon. And you'll know that right away as soon as you start playing with that number. So you can see here my Y is slightly different. I'm at a 90 sensitivity. This will differ, uh, like I say, for each individual printer. So again, my diag pin here is just the end stop of my Y. Also, please note that on your main board, normally there's a jumper you need to put on the main board physically to turn on sensorless homing. So just note that as well. You must have your jumpers enabled and you must have your diag pin set. So sensorless homing is on for X and Y. And then this is the lead screw version of my config. So we're using a rotation distance of eight and we're using a probe for my end stop. So I've set my probe here for my end stop. Again, pretty straightforward. Extruder here, not much to uh, talk about. These are pretty standard uh, clipper settings. And then in my probe here, this is my clip clicky probe configuration. These are my offsets, my sample rate, that type of thing. And then um, even though this is HBOT, it's still Core XY kinematics. And these are the settings for my printer. Pretty, pretty tame. Like I say, Bijou is meant to just kind of print slow and I uh, just for a beginner. So this is the basic Bijou config file. It's very small, it's very easy to read and it, it's a very good jumping in point for people who want to get into Clipper. Now, Clicky Probe. Clicky Probe isn't as complicated as you think. It looks complicated right off of the bat. You can see there's a clicky macros, clicky probe, clicky variables. There's a whole bunch of config files here. Don't get overwhelmed by that. The only one we really care about is clicky variables. So this is where you plug in the specifics for your printer. And there's only really two things you need to put in here. That is where is your dock and your, bid, your build size. So. For my bed here, I actually have this set to 165. Basically anything, um, you don't have to be too crazy about this. Um, I kind of essentially built this, I think this is my original value when I was just playing around with Bijou and I left it at 165. Uh, I could lower this to 140. Essentially this just makes it so that your tool head can't go too far outside your build area. Um, if you had, let's say a very large printer that had a 300 by 300 build area, but your tool head could potentially go to like 360. You might not want the tool head to go out that far to get the probe. So you might set that as your build area. So again, generally you don't have to really worry about this too much. Just make sure it's, it's as big as your build area or a little bit larger. What we're concerned about here is these two items here. And this is relatively well documented here. So you can see um, these are values for my dock location, the X and Y of my dock location. Bijou's probe is set on the Z height, so we don't have to change this. My Z doesn't have to move to get the probe. If you had your probe attached to your build plate, you would need to set this number. But because my dock is actually on my frame, that number doesn't apply and we leave it at minus 128. So how do I find this number? It's relatively easy. I'm gonna just jump back here. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you here on the dashboard because I have my printer turned off right now. But anyways, what I normally do is I will manually home X, meaning I will click the X home button. I'll let my X home. 
and then I'll click my Y Home button and I'll let my Y Home. What this does is it now gives me the ability to jog my tool head around manually using my interface. So once my X and Y are homed, I can then actually use my actual um, arrows on mainsail to move my print head around. And I can actually line up my print head with my dock. So what I'll do is I'll attach my clicky probe manually to my tool head. I will jog my tool head around using the arrows on my web interface on mainsail. So for instance, I will start moving my tool head to the left until it gets to where my dock is. And then I'll start moving my tool head in Y direction closer to my dock to find out these values. And then I'll just look at the actual web interface and I'll put the values in that I see. So for instance, my dock is located on 25X and 139Y, which means it's in the back left corner of my frame. So my uh, printer, when it homes, my 140 is on the far right corner and that's for X and Y. So all the way left, the numbers are getting smaller because my dock is all the way on the left hand side. That's where I chose to put it. So my number is small. It's at 25 for my X. And then my dock is at the very back of my printer. So it's almost at my max, which makes plenty of sense. Once these two numbers are set, you basically just save the config and you're done. Clicky just works out of the box. So don't be afraid to grab the clicky information here. You can grab the actual um, configs. Um, I believe also in here there is a uh, another section here, clicky probe config. This tells the printer what features I'm using for Clicky Probe. So for instance, Bijou doesn't have quad gantry leveling or Z tilt adjust or anything like that. I'm not using Clicky Probe for bed mesh or anything like that. If I were, I would just uncomment this feature and it would turn on. So when we go through the simple core assembly series and we talk about Cl Clicky Probe for um, the uh, simple core, I will actually turn on Z tilt adjust so that Clicky knows to grab the probe before it goes to adjust my Z tilt. So again, this just turns features on and off. Bijou is a very basic printer. We're just using the variables and the basic macros. So again, that's just a really fast run through on how to actually uh, configure Bijou here. Uh, again, don't be afraid of Clicky. Um, play around with it. It makes a lot of sense once you get into it. And again, I do have my new website up. Feel free to check that. I will have it in the link in the description below. And enjoy Bijou. Build it, mod it. Definitely feel free to join my Discord. I'll have my Patreon info as well. Thanks again everyone and I'll catch you next time.